Good morning. It is so good to be with you on this Veterans Day. This is the 29th celebration of Veterans Day at Green Valley Elementary School. Today we come together to honor and remember those men and women who have served our nation in the armed forces. Veterans Day recognizes the important contributions of millions of our citizens whose military service during peacetime and war have had a profound effect on our history. Our grandfathers, grandmothers, fathers, mothers, husbands, wives, brothers, sisters, sons, and daughters have served in many wars from the American Revolution to today. Freedom's cost is dear. Our veterans and their families have given life, limb, heart, and soul. Most of these courageous and unselfish men and women ask nothing in return for their service. Some need their country's help to recover from wounds and hardships. Let us continue to help these veterans in need with the greatest possible compassion and efficiency. To the rest, since they ask no special thanks, we can best pay tribute this day by recognizing what they have achieved and joining them in their resolve to keep America free and strong. Are you ready to greet our special guest? Do we have veterans from the greatest generation? Korean War veterans. Veterans of the Cold War era. Vietnam era veterans. Veterans of Grenada and Panama. Kosovo and Bosnia veterans veterans of Afghanistan and Iraq, Desert Storm. Are there veterans of special operations of the armed forces with us? If you are presently serving in the armed forces on active duty, in the reserves, or in the National Guard, or in the Virginia militia, we recognize you. Freedom does not come without a price. Our ancestors fought for freedom to establish our great country, the United States of America. For generations, millions of men and women have earned our respect and gratitude by wearing our nation's uniforms. They were and are the greatest generation they were and are our mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, husbands, wives, sons, daughters, nephew, nieces, cousins. They are our neighbors, friends, and fellow citizens. They are warriors missing in action, prisoners of war returned to a grateful nation and beloved families. They are our wounded warriors living with the scars of battle in day-to-day -day lives. They are our troops on the front lines of a fight for freedom and justice at this present moment. Let us not forget. Many medals and citations are awarded to our servicemen and women during their times of service to our country. One of these awards is the Purple Heart this medal is given to someone who is wounded in the line of duty. If you have received a Purple Heart, blessings for you and for your service. Ladies and gentlemen, all around our heroes surround us. Let's remember them. <laughs>
We thank you for your service and for giving us a safe and free country in which to live, work, and play. May we never forget you, your sacrifice, your service to our country and to us.
And now, students of Green Valley, are you ready to salute our honored guest with songs? Ms. Hagen, are you ready? United States Army, kindergarten and first grade. United States Marine Corps, second grade. United States Navy, fifth grade. United States Air Force, third grade. United States Coast Guard, fourth grade.
A candle of remembrance has been lit on this day. Freedom does not come without a price. Our ancestors fought for freedom to establish our great country. For generations, millions of men and women have earned our respect and gratitude by wearing our nation's colors. They were and are the greatest generation. We hope and we remember them every day of their lives. Let us join together in a moment of silence to honor all our veterans and in solemn remembrance of those who gave their lives in the service of our nation.
Thank you for joining us. Missouri, Montana.